This is a series of lectures on 3D optical illusions for those who stay at home. Today's topic is a Penrose triangle. This is a picture of Penrose triangles. These pictures are called impossible objects because when we see those pictures, we have an impression of 3D structures, but at the same time, we feel that such a 3D object cannot be realized as a real object, because um, this object consists of three rods connected at corners, but they are twisted, and so it cannot be uh, made in this kind of closed triangles. However, they are not impossible, meaning that we can construct actual real 3D object whose appearance coincides with these pictures. There are at least three tricks to do that. Let's see them. This is a Penrose triangle made using the first trick. When we see from this viewpoint, we understand that this is a Penrose triangle. However, when we move it, we understand that the object is not closed. It has a disconnected structure and so the <coughs> not the triangle. But when we see it from a special viewpoint, the disconnected part coincide accidentally, and so we feel that it's a closed triangle structure. This is a fast trick to construct the Penrose triangle. Now this is a 3D object made using the second trick. Here we have a Penrose triangle, however, the surface is not flat. When we see this object from this angle, we understand that the surface is curved. But when we go back to the initial viewpoint, the boundary of the curves, curved surface becomes straight and so um, it is not clear that they are formed by curved surfaces. This is the second trick, which we call the curved surface trick. This is an object made using the third trick. In this case, we do not use the discontinuity trick or curved surface trick, and so every part is uh, made by planar faces and the uh, places where it looks connected are actually connected. The true shape can be understood from this angle. So the trick is, we can say that the object is made using non-rectangular angles, where they look rectangles. And so we call this trick the non-rectangularity trick. By this tri uh, so from this angle, we see, we feel that the objects are made by faces connected by right angles, but actually they are connected by non-right angles. So we understand that there are at least three tricks to construct real actual object whose appearance coincides with the Penrose triangle. And so next we have to consider why this happens, meaning why we feel the Penrose triangles cannot be constructed, although they can actually be constructed. The reason is the <coughs> nature of the single picture uh, obtained by projecting 3D object to 2D 
planes. Consider that we are given a picture and try to find the 3D structures whose projection coincide with the picture when we see it from a special viewpoint. But the picture does not have depth information, and so there are infinitely many possibilities whose projection coincide with the picture. However, our brains usually do not consider those possibilities, but just guess only one 3D object. This gap between the mathematically nature Mm, saying that there are infinitely many possibilities and the blind nature which perceive only a single shape of the object is the source of this illusion. Let me consider this nature from another example. Here we have whole objects. They look similar and all of them looks like a cube. However, they are not necessarily a cube because we have no depth information. The first object is actually a cube structure. However, the second one is uh, not a cube. It's an elongated parallel piped object. And the third one is also another parallel piped object and the fourth one is still shorter size parallel piped object. So among those four objects there is only one cube and the others are not cube, they are other structures, other shapes. However, from a special viewpoint, all of them look like similar like that. This is because the picture does not have depth information and so there are many, many possibilities of the 3D structures when we see it from single picture. This is the source of the illusion, 3D illusion. And the same trick can be used to construct many types of 3D objects that looks like impossible. In this example, we have two L-shaped structures connected to each other, but the <clears throat> nearer part is hidden by the further part at two point because the part which has a cut section is usually considered nearer to the viewer than the other part, but the nearer part is hidden by the further part. So it looks like impossible, but it can be possible as we can see from this angles. And we understand that the faces are connected other than 90 degree angles. This is a, another example in which three loads are combined to this structure. But in this case also, the nearer part is hidden by the further part at three points and create an inconsistent structure. But we can construct it like that. And the trick is also the non rect angularity because faces are connected by general angles, not 90 angles. But from this viewpoint, we perceive the three loads um, made by light angles. Another example is here. We have two vertical walls and two horizontal bars. But the horizontal bars penetrate the left wall um, aligned horizontally, but uh, penetrate right walls in a vertically aligned manner. So it looks like impossible. But this is also possible, and we understand the true structure when we change our viewpoint.
the two bars are not horizontal, not parallel. They have different direction, different lengths, and different shapes. But from this special viewpoint, the two bars look like parallel and horizontal and equal lengths. This is the final example, and which is usually called the infinite loop of stairs. We have four stairs connected in circle manner, and when we go up the steps, we go back to the initial point eventually. This is impossible. So we feel this kind of object cannot exist but this is a real object and the trick is that the <coughs> one of the staircases is not rectangular. Actually, the left upper staircase uh, is made by slanted surfaces, slanted faces. So it can be constructed like that. And from the special viewpoint, this looks like an impossible object, impossible stairs. So finally, let me give a question. The, we have two Penrose triangle pictures. The left one is simpler, and it can be constructed as 3D object using curved surface trick but it cannot be constructed using non-rectangularity trick, meaning that we cannot construct the 3D structure from left pictures using planar surfaces connected along lines. Please consider why. Why it's not, it cannot be constructed. The hint is that three planes in the space have only one point of intersections. This point cannot be drawn from this picture. 